Hi guys, and welcome to a spooky adventure edition of Colour with Sean. Today I'm going to be bringing you a flip through and review of the Beauty of Horror Tricks and Treats, which recently came out by Alan Robert. Um, obviously you know from the Beauty Horror books as well. Um, you may also know him from his band. He's in a rock band. And uh, not only am I going to be showing you the Tricks or Treats which just came out, I'm also going to be showing you the Ghosts of Christmas, which came out last year, just before Christmas. Um, because obviously after Halloween, we are fast approaching Christmas time. So I'm going to do Tricks or Treats first, since it's the new one, and a few of you have probably already seen the Ghosts of Christmas. But because Christmas is coming soon, I thought we might as well have another flip through whilst it's here. Um, I had previously already, already coloured in this and I've just finished one in here so you get to see a finished coloured image in both. As you can see the dimensions are both exactly the same. They're roughly just short of 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches, perfectly square. Uh, so they are a lot smaller than the original uh, 1 to 3 Beauty of Horror books. Uh, these ones are also single sided unlike the original Beauty of Horror books. And these ones are also perforated, unlike the Beauty Horror books, which means you can tear them out in order to frame them, to give them away as gifts, um, to also just make it easier for you to colour um, if you just want to colour flat, or if you wanted to rip one out to, uh, let's say, you wanted to um, tape it down in order to do watercolour or ink tents using water-based uh, materials, then you can do that. Okay, so I'm going to move the Beauty of Horror Ghosts of Christmas to one side. And then we have the gorgeous Tricks and Treats. And we start off with a very... This one has a very glossy cover, thick card cover. And you've got Guliana there and then in her costume. And then the Beauty of Horror made up with loads of gruesome... Um, I would say body parts <laughs> which you will obviously expect in this type of book so these books are not for the faint-hearted going to the uh, book itself on the inside slip we have some uh, the uh, Victorian style um, is it Bosk? not Bosk, um, what's the word? Do you know what it is? I was watching this video on Claire's channel and she couldn't figure out the design of this Victorian style and I instantly said it but as soon as I come on camera to say it, it's just gone. What's it called? Victorian? Is it Baruch? Baruch? Is it Baruch? Something like that. I'm sure one of you will in the comments will correct me. And we start off with the title page which is this lovely image here which you can colour. So this is like a pumpkin Batman dollar. And it has the Beauty of Horror, which is the same as the front here. And you'll also see this on the back of every single image as well. It's just It is one-sided, but it has this as, as if it was like a stamp on the back of each image. So we come to the publisher notice and copyright information and also your name title page. So we have Guliana, get, Guliana getting into mischief and causing chaos as usual. And here it'll tell you a little story, it's a bit of a rhyme, a bit of a poem. You get one at the front and get one at the back. I'm not going to read it out, I'm going to leave that to your surprise and for your enjoyment if you do decide to get the book or if you um, already have the book. And you also have a adventure to find these lost items. So can you find Guliana's lost treats? And this is a common recurrence in Alan's books as well, which is some something additional, a little extra fun element within the books. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, I've got this sort of like a stamp of the uh, title page. We start off with Guliana with her mask, a little a cute little kitten mask. And then you have a nice little frame around here. Uh, and some flesh bits here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, we've got these boys just causing chaos and throwing toilet paper everywhere, which is a big thing in America, isn't it? If you don't get the treat you want or something like that, you trick and you throw loads of toilet paper around somebody's lovely tree. 
we don't get that much in the UK. If um, if you know, if somebody's not quite happy with what they got, usually you get egged. They throw eggs. Um, but Halloween actually is not as big in the UK as it is in America. Um, we've got this very creepy looking spider here. So if you're not really like spiders, then you might not like this image. And uh, yeah, so she's got very sharp teeth and she's got a spider in her mouth. So I'm sure that'll give you a few of you the chills. Got the headless horseman and the horse itself is a skeleton. We have sort of like a Dracula style um, creature here with the bats. And this is the one that I coloured. I use pretty much a mix of different things. I use Black Widow pencils, Prismacolors. I used the Intense um, Pan palette, which um, is looks like a watercolour palette. If I have it here. So it looks like this. And it just looks like a watercolour set, but it's actually Intense uh, pigment. So I just open it up like so. And you get some colours in here. And I used the Kiwi and I used the Sun Yellow. So that was what I used on this sort of like glowing orb. I used uh, some gel pens, uh, some jelly roll pens. And I also used a white Posca. So I threw quite a bit of this and it uh, seemed to have survived. So this is the Headless Woman. She's um it it just made me think that she's this headless woman, uh who was buried and she, her spirit walks, the earth, and she has to carry her head in her hands, forever. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> don't um, don't don't bet on me to win an Oscar anytime soon. Um, and then this is Guliana and her friend get playing Operation, but not the board game that we know, the actual Operation itself. And this is a whole definition of a facelift, I will say. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's <laughs> it's a, a bit strange, this one, but... Uh, Obviously, expect that. Obviously, you to you know humor. You you do you do find some humor in some horror, don't you? And I've seen this one colored by Claire, and she did an awesome job at this. We have sort of this exorcist skull creature here, rising from the bed with this uh, demonic symbol on the bed, and the is it a pentagon? Is it a pentagon or the the witch's star? Getting into mischief again. Literally taking his head off. Terrorizing innocent children there, Guiliana. <laughs> Doesn't he look stunning? And the paper is quite thick as well. It's actually th in the smaller books, the paper is actually thicker than the paper that's in the larger books. Um, which is great. <laughs> Got a three headed dog. And that doesn't look like it's going to keep them <laughs> in place for long. Got Guriana and her friends going out trick-or-treating. Probably tricking more than treating. Got this satanic demon. Imagine answering the door to that. Oh, 
I heard I've heard the saying that eating carrots uh, eating carrots makes you be to be able to see in the dark, but actually eating brains, I'm not sure that actually makes you more brainy or more intelligent. Queen of the night. She's gonna go out with the girls, I think, on this one. She's going out with the girls. Mischief night. So she's out with the girls now. And this is some sort of like zombie disco dance. I was actually taught to do this one, but I just thought it, for the purpose of review, I wanted to do something that wasn't going to take so long to colour. Um, but I can imagine doing this one and making the pumpkins look like they're lighting up all the different disco colours. I think that would be pretty awesome. And then we have a very blacked out version of this one. It's also it's almost like a stamp um, of the front cover here. So that would be quite, quite a quick one to do, especially if you're doing it in markers. And then we have a create your own. So Alan's giving you these uh, treats for you to decorate and design yourself. You can make them into treats or you can make them into tricks. Or something a bit gruesome or you make it into something sweet. And then as always you get your possessed with your palette. So you get a test your colours and your palette selection which is really handy to have. And really generous for Alan to include in the book. And then we just have the answers here for the, the lost treats. And then we finish off with a poem. And that is Tricks or Treats. You can get it from Amazon UK, Amazon US. Uh, I think pretty much all Amazons do carry it. And I believe you can purchase it directly through IDW Publisher website. Um, you can also get it from Book Depository um, and all other good bookstores as well. I will leave some the links in the description for you to have a look at. And moving on now, we're going to move on to the Beauty of Horror Ghost of Christmas. Again by Alan Robert. And this was out last year. And it came out just before Christmas. And then also obviously this came out just before Halloween. So a few of you probably already saw this, but I just thought since obviously after after Halloween we're going to be approaching Christmas. So we might as well just take another little trip down memory lane and revisit this so again it's thick card cover this one's a bit more matte and it actually has a gold um like hologram font here whereas the beauty of horror has a red hologram holographic so again we've got a title page here just with different decorations here which is all well some, most of it is christmas related other is is obviously gruesome so you've got uh, Guliana here with her naughty list and she is terrorising the <laughs> the Christmas presents to be sent out to the kids. Again, the copyright information. Can you find Guliana's lost presents? A poem. We've got a stamp on the back of each page so it is single sided. Same thickness. Uh, it is quite smooth, has very little tooth. And these are pretty cool. So if you if you if you like sort of dark themed imagery, and you also like Christmas, then you've got the two in one here. And it's also something a bit different the colour up to the running of Christmas. You know, it's not your typical um, Christmas type of imagery to colour. So it just, that that's what makes it unique and a bit different and a bit more interesting. We have a <laughs> a zombie Santa and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Poor gingerbread man um, or men are running out of their house because uh, somebody is burning it down and he's even grabbed one. Wow, what a lovely present to get. <laughs> Imagine opening that. 
got Christmas Christmas carols by these corpses. And you've got these gingerbread sort of toys here with chainsaws, snowmen with knives. So it is very macabre. Putting body parts in boxes and wrapping it in his presents. Goody old <laughs> tormenting Santa Claus. This was obviously before she turned him into a zombie. Scary snowman. <laughs> and these images do just make you laugh, which is good. And uh, Guliana decorating the tree here, but her tree is made out of bones. Obviously, what do you expect? Merry Christmas. Got all the lovely creepy treats here coming out of the boxes. <laughs> You've got Elf on the Shelf being tied up. And then this is the one that I coloured last year. Um, I can't remember what I used for these. Did I? I think I used, did I use, I either used Castle Art Pencils or I used Prismacolor, I can't 100% remember guys, um, but there is a video somewhere and I made it so that the inside of his skull was lighting up um, and I enjoyed doing this one actually, I thought it was really, it was really cool and uh, I enjoyed how the leather gloves turned out as well. And Gulliana just kicked her friend just off the, off the chimney there, just for the fun of it, you know, as you do, as kids do. But now they're made up because they're exchanging presents, and they seem to be very happy with what they have. In goes uh, not the Christmas turkey, but it looks like Santa. And this is from the front cover, which is pretty awesome. And then this part is giving you the opportunity to create your own baubles. You can decorate your baubles, you can make them pretty looking, or you can make them grotesque. And again, we have the possessed with your palettes, so you can test your palettes and colours here and your mediums and materials. And then we have the answers to Lost Presents and we finish off with a poem. So again, you can get this and the Trick or Trick and Treat uh, book from Amazon. You can get it from Book Depository. You can get directly from the publisher, which is IDW, um, and all good bookstores. And I will leave some link links in the description below. So that is everything for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the flip through and the colorings. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.